Hello everybody and welcome to Appalachian Cemetery Hunting with Rob. In today's video we were actually on site, but when we found this little country cemetery we did not know the name of it. However, after doing some research we found out that it's the Cardinal Cemetery and it's located in the Lone Mountain area of Claiborne County, Tennessee as shown on this map and I'll give you a few seconds to take a look at it. Now, from what we could tell, the earliest burial was in 1880. So let's get started, and we hope you enjoy it. Hey, guys. We're in Claiborne County, Tennessee, off of Minton Hollow Road. And this is the view from this little cemetery we found. And Minton Hollow is where my grandmother grew up and all her people. We found this cemetery, it has no name. We thought we'd stop and do a little video. It don't have many people in it, but some of them look a little old. Uh, we'll find the name later. Let's go ahead and get started with it though. Joseph, Bu Joseph Bud Killian Jr., 1925-1973. Joe Killian Sr., 1886 to 1966. J.W. Killian, uh, 1884 to 1944. Yeah, there's a hole. This is Ben, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Frank England of 1944 to 1944. England, Winnie and Frank. Winnie was 1923. Then 2004, and Frank was 1921 to 2005. I'm going to let you look a little bit. See? Somebody's cleared off the land there. I'm not sure what that was supposed to be. Maybe part of an old barn. Uh, there's some hay bales over here. I don't know. Don't know what this is yet. England, Killians. There is... John W. England, 1881 to 1946. I love the carving. Leona England, 1919 to 1999. That's a pretty stone. Uh, okay, this has got his picture. Bill England, 1935 to 2022. Oh. This one is, oop, there's a lot of holes in this cemetery. Lula E. Lula Butler, 1919 to 2016. Then we have Douglas, baby Douglas, 1938 to 1938, and that's Lula's child. Died on Christmas Day. Oh. And. This is a Lynch. Well, I can't get the first name. Can you get it? Adeline Lynch yeah, Cox. 1944-2006. I hear somebody starting up their four-wheeler. They're probably coming to run us off. Okay, this... Maybe a base or... Yeah, nothing. Okay, there's nothing over here. Go on over here. We have Sarah Griffin, the wife of Elmer Trent, uh, 1893 to 1935. Right here is William Carr, Private U.S. Army, 1931 to 1975. I think that's him, Billy. No, it's not him. It must be his son. Here's another soldier. John R. England, Tennessee Private, 8th, 16th Engineer, Aviation Battalion. Aviation Battalion. It looks like it was killed in the war. I don't know what the death date. Oh, maybe. 
1908 to 1942, yeah. Yep. Here's Thula, the wife of John R. England, 1906 to 1935. Dorothy Engel, uh, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. George Engel, 1938 to 1938, because it's just a baby. Okay. Here we have... Millard Carpenter, June the 7th of 1942. And another Carpenter, um, looks like Florence, Flora G. Carpenter, 1937 to 1937, still a baby. Archie Engel, Sergeant U.S. Army, Korea, 34, 1934 to 1985. And let's see. Uh, you want to grab that one? Dale Clark. 1957. Dale England. England, sorry. 1953 to 1953. George England, 1871. 1948. Harvey England, 1898 to 1932. Rock marker. Whew, we got mother and father, Hattie and Rufus England. That one. Harriet Wolf, England. Going down. I can tell these are graves, but they're a little sunken. Odie Blevins, nineteen thirty two to twenty twelve. Hmm. Elizabeth Ann Green. 1964 to 2020. There's a marker right there, but I can't read it no more. Oh, it did have Snoopy on it. I didn't pay any attention. Aw. That's cute. Billy Carr and Kathy. Billy's 1952. Kathy, 1955 to 75. Young. Rock marker. Here's John Henry, son of Teeny Williams. Time. Or Tyne. 1929. Callaway Williams, not 1841 to 1922. Maybe. Uh, Leona Loop, 1915 to 1915. Elizabeth Luke, 1860 or 1871, 1906. The rock marker. Teeny or Tyne Williams, 1911 to 1938. Melvina Williams, 1867 to 1942. Johnny, infant son of Mr. and Mrs. Elmer Trent, 1946. We got Sarah and Elmer Trent. Sarah was 1910 to 1989. Elmer was 1893 to 1951. Carl Wayne Green, 1962 to 1982. And Wayne and Patricia Green, 1938 to 2018 for Wayne. 1945 to 2021 for Patricia. A lot of different names in this cemetery, so I wouldn't have a clue what it was would be called. Maybe somebody here watching would know. Theo Cardwell, uh, 1894 to 1971. Right behind him is Stevenson Cardwell, 
Tennessee Private U.S. Army, World War II, 1927 to 1974. Then we have Adam Cardwell, 1884 to 1935. Clemmy Pauline, daughter of Adam and Theo Cardwell. 1925 to 1929. Joshua Cardwell, 1888 to 1937. Nettie Baldwin, 1881 to 1936. Uh, Elvira, mother of E.W. Cardwell, 1832. To 1908. And this is J.W., the son of E.W. and M.J. Cardwell, 1879 to 1880. Ina M., the daughter of E.W. and M.J. Cardwell. The dates are down in the ground, so I can't see. 1879 to 1880. Oh, was it 1980? Okay. I may have. I don't know. Eugene Cardwell and Mary Cardwell. Eugene was 1853 to 1937. Mary, 1860 to 1939. Uh, Paul and Elizabeth Corbin Cardwell. You guys can see the dates on that. In God's Care, Jack Doug Douglas Hipshire, 1932 to 1992. No, sorry, 1933 to 1992. Mm-hmm, Hipshire, 1899 to 1936. James and Bertha. Bertha was 1908 to 1979. I'm so tongue-tied. I've been sick, so I'm not feeling my best. What's that one say? Shelva. Shelva L, son of. Shelva C. C, okay. Son of S.M. and D.M. Cardwell. Yeah, it's starting up a Yeah, that's baby. Here is S.M. and Dora Cardwell. 1888, 1959 for S.M. Dora was 1891 to 1952. We have Margaret Catherine Cardwell, 1914 to 1970. And here's a soldier, Homer L. Cardwell, Tennessee Tech 5, 745. What is that? Something Operation Battalion, something else. <laughs> 1907 to 1953 is World War II. Then on down here. All the way down here in this little corner. Look what a beautiful, beautiful view. Oh my gosh, this is just so pretty. No yes. wonder my grandmother grew up back here. I think the lake. The lake's on the other side. I think it's in that hall right over there. Possibly, yeah. Uh, Arlie and Brenda. Arlie, 1955-2003, and Brenda's got a date of 1963, so she must be still with us. Okay, there's a walnut. Where did that walnut come from? There's no, there's no, I mean, seriously. Okay, let's go on back here. Yeah, there are big holes in here. Be, watch your foot and on this one for sure. This one is Jesse James Brooks, 1962 to not, or 2003. And Lizzie L. M. and Vaughn Beeler. Lizzie was 1933 to 2006. And Vaughn was 1926 to 2003. And then we got a rock marker right there. See, I just I about stepped in that hole right there. Roy Beeler, 1930-2004. And... Mary 
or a daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Alonzo Beeler, 1941. We got Alonzo Beeler, 1902 to 1985. Zella M. Beeler, 1911 to 2000. Here we have another soldier. Paul H. Beeler, Private U.S. Army, 1938 to 2004. Hobart Beeler, 1904 to 1982, and John Jordan, 1873 to 1953, and I may have missed one. Let me go get it. Well, I can know. Maybe, maybe by the time we edit this video, we'll know the name, but there is no name to this cemetery, and there's a lot of different surnames in here, so it could be Killian, could be Cardwell, could be a lot, okay, oh uh, yeah, I missed a little baby grave right here, Eva Willeen, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. W. Duvall, 1942 to 1943. So Folks, there were three graves that we missed, one only had a metal sign like funeral the other was a flathead song that we're guessing was simply overgrown grass. But we did find pictures of them on findagrave.com, and they are Ruby Carr, 1931, 2009, and Wayne B. Payne, 1943 to 2003, and his wife, Carolyn Lynch, 1946 to 2009. And Wayne served in the United States of And there are 10 graves with no pictures, and they are William Arce Blevins, he went by Will, 1902 to 1971. Amber Michelle Carr, December 30th, 1979 to March 11th, 1980. She was only two and a half months old. Next, we have Sandy Carr, but we have no dates for her. Now we have Dennis Coffey, 1951 to 2014. Next is Lucinda Gray, England, 1840 to 1935. Next is Lucy Raby, England, 1900 to 1933. Next is Valentine, England, 1842 to 1926. Now we have Walter Matthews, 1898-1974. Now we have Laura Ethel Beeler Matthews, 1898-1934. And the last one that has no pictures is the grave of George Robert Trent Jr., 1853, and we have no death date for him. So this is the unknown cemetery as of right now. But it's in a beautiful place. You can see back in there. Just old backcountry roads. So thanks for watching. We'll get the information and some pictures up if we can find some. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.